all along the whole concern appear mind to the ear is opening in the midst. That's how it was just taken by surprise. Because a soldier in the army Scout. I am always ready to fight a good one. Amen. Today I am happy to be here with you because as we celebrate and I listen to the wonderful words that everybody has said. Bishop Bradford, uh, as Bishop Tracy, good message. And I pray for us to hear something that take all of us. But I'm sitting there and I'm looking at everything and I know that as Bishop Tracy says that it is time for us to rise up. Many of you know, many times on a Sunday I will use the social media to deliver. I think God has told me today, Vice I'm sitting there, that you have a message for tomorrow. I know. Amen. Yeah. I can tell you, my message is not about the men. My message is about you, beautiful women. Because as much as as Bishop and Jesus said for us to rise, if you don't rise, we can never rise. All right. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. as the woman and we as men begin to empower the women in the church, give them the authority that they need, they are going to help us in this week from another level. That's a story. And I've studied religion of the world. And let me say this. I, I want to tell you this. It may sound strange. But if we only recognize the power of the woman, when I look at this whole thing here today, I came in and I saw a beautiful table. What made me to ask? Yes. Did you prepare? No, sir. <laughs> Bishop Raffle, did you prepare? Is that what you prepare? But we are, and we're going to post and that. But it's the woman that we're here. That's right. So without them, we are not here. We need to start to do that. You know, we need to recognize the power of women. Women, you know, if you would just stand up and give God some praise without you, the church is nothing. We are nothing. We brag and boast that we as men, we can do this and we can do that. But let me say this, you are the keepers of the home. You are the strength, you are the tower of the home. So we as men must now start to employ this. You know, I remember a, a meeting we went to, I don't know if Patriarch and, 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 and those archbishops was present. When we went to a meeting to get the six acres of land, the very first thing the minister looked at all of us sitting there because the whole entourage of men went. And he looked at us and he asked the first question. Before he even said anything, he said, wait a moment. And I remember I sat there and I bowed my head in need to minister. And you know what we promised? In the next meeting we go in with Minister Clarence Ramaran, we will cry over so I think he put us... So the committee is well structured now, isn't it? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love to be here as a big gift thanks. I ask you as a woman to assist us to bring about a, a unity because we need strength and we need that unity in order to achieve what God has given to us. Amen? So God bless you all and I want to say to you, you know, Mother, I, I look at you and I say this to you. I don't want you to take it as a, I want you to see what I'm saying to you. You become the Mother Lakshmi in your house. You become the one of Lakshmi in here. You know why? Not the image of Lakshmi. But Mother Lakshmi has many hands. And without you, we are not. But you know how to use the various hands that you have to get things done. When I look at your young members a while ago, just you know the bishop raised us up, and I saw you just glance over them, and all of a sudden, all of them just walk. You know, somehow you just put them sitting at your <laughs> God bless you. And I pray God, moment stand up. Because we need you now more than ever. Without you, we would not achieve this. 
as much as I and the Patriarch and all the other Archbishop and Bishop Patrick want to be teachers, without you, we are not there. Amen. So God bless you and I wish you all the best on this day. I wish myself the best. Have you only seen them, sir? Praise the Lord. Hello.